with under two months to the Rolex 24, we're starting to hear news of who is going to make up the grid for the 2023 running of IMSA's season opener. I'm Ewan, and this is every entry confirmed so far. We'll start with the top class, GTP, and defending winners Maya Shank Racing. MSR have retained three of their four drivers from last year, Tom Blomqvist, Elio Castroneves and Simon Paginot, with reigning IMSA LMP3 winner Colin Brown joining them. Last year's runner-up was fellow Acura team Wayne Taylor Racing, who have also retained a similar line-up. Felipe Albuquerque and Ricky Taylor are back full-time, with Louis Delatraz and Brendan Hartley joining them this time around. Chip Ganassi Racing are running a pair of Cadillacs in the Rolex 24, one for the full season and the other as a one-off extra. The full-time car features three of the four drivers from last year, with Sebastian Bourdais, Scott Dixon and Renger van der Zander now competing as a trio. In the sister entry, we'll find Cadillac's WEC squad of Earl Bamber, Alex Lynn and Richard Westbrook the latter moving over from JDC Mustang Sampling Racing. Action Express Racing are downsizing to one car for 2023, running a sole Cadillac. Of their seven drivers from last year, just one is back, Pipo Durrani. This time around, Durrani is being joined by Jack Aitken and Alexander Sims. BMW are marking their return to prototype racing with a two-car effort from BMW M Team RLL. Conor Di Filippi and Nick Yellily are going to share the number 24, with Philip Eng and Augusto Farfus in the number 25. They will be joined by Colton Herter, Sheldon van der Linde, Marco Whitman and potentially one other, but which cars this trio will be in is unconfirmed and the nine-car GTP grid is rounded out by Porsche Penske Motorsport, running their iconic numbers 6 and 7. Porsche haven't confirmed which drivers will be in their IMSA programme, but we'll see 6 to 8 of the 10-driver roster in the cars at the Rolex. This roster consists of Dane Cameron, Matt Campbell, Michael Christensen, Kevin Estra, Matthew Yamane, Andre Lotterer, Frederick Makovecki, Felipe Nazar, Nick Tandy and Lawrence Van Tor. The pair of customer Porsche 963s sadly won't be ready for Daytona. After GTP, much less entries are confirmed, but I'll run you through the ones we do know. TDS Racing finished second in LMP2 in the Rolex last year, and are back with a two-car effort. Scott Huffaker, Mikkel Jensen and Stephen Thomas will share the number 11 Orica with Francois Harreau, Josh Pearson and Guido Vandergaard in the number 35. Their only confirmed LMP2 rival is Racing Team Turkey, the reigning ELMS LMP2 Pro-Am winners, who have a quartet of Juan Manuel Correa, Charlie Eastwood, Phil Hansen and Sally Yollock. Expect to see more LMP2 entries bring themselves forward, with a grid of around 10 cars again likely. LMP3 is also a bit thin on the ground, Although like with LMP2, the grid should reach around double digits when the entry is announced on the 11th of January. JDC Miller Motorsports, third overall last year, are one of the teams missing the start of the GTP campaign with their Porsche undelivered, so they're entering a decane in LMP3 instead. Ligier outfit Sean Creech Motorsport have also teased a return for their third Rolex this year. Someone who won't be back is Core Autosports who have closed their doors after Brown's promotion to the top class. The rest of the grid will be made up of the GT classes. Corvette Racing had an abysmal Rolex last year, and this time around have downscaled to just one car, for Antonio Garcia, Tommy Milner and Jordan Taylor. Their pro-class opposition is set to include defending winners Faf Motorsport, who are going to have an all-new line-up for their Porsche, as Campbell, Yamane and Nasa move to GTP. Who this new lineup is, however, is still unknown. Iron Lynx have joined the Lamborghini factory fold for 2023, and are going to take on the Rolex with three cars, two under the Iron Lynx banner and one for the Iron Dames. Lamborghini, Ferrari and Porsche are all debuting new GT3 cars at Daytona, with each teasing a multi-car effort across their various customer teams. For Ferrari, 
Those customers involved Chatelar Racing, who are stepping up to the full season after only doing the Endurance Cup this year. Whilst the Porsche contingent in the Pro-Am class will involve Volt Racing with Wright Motorsports, an AO racing team, who will field Alan Bjorn Jolfson and Trent Hinman, and PJ Heyer and Gunnar Jeanette, respectively. The known GTD grid is rounded out by Team TGM, who have partnered with TF Sport to run an Aston Martin for Ted Giovannis, Hugh Plum, Matt Plum and Owen Trinkler. Of course, this still leaves over half the field unannounced, with the race oversubscribed and set to be capped at around 60 cars. Plenty of these entries will be made up of returning teams, but as always we can expect a few newcomers and surprises in the month to come. Who is your early pick to win the Rolex 24? And who would you like to see on the grid? Please let me know in the comments below. And whilst you're down there, why not press the like button? It really helps me out.